One more controversial topic I want to hit on before we part ways, and that's gluten. Because this seems to be, if anything, picking up more steam in the health and wellness space. More and more people are adopting a gluten-free diet, saying that they're sensitive to gluten. What is the science saying? Well, the science says that 1% of people are definitely have a gluten problem. They're, they have celiac disease and there are tests for them. The problem is the other 9% of the population that think they have a gluten problem, when it turns out, when you actually test them with gluten, uh, most of them don't. So what I think people re- need, to, need to realize is that um, self-testing is really quite difficult unless you're going to get someone to... Uh, f- you know, fool you and double blind you and give you gluten free pasta one day and, and not the other and, you know, do this in a really systematic way. People are fooled by it. And once you feel you've, you've got a gluten problem, in a way you have it. And a lot of it, I think, is, is due to eating really bad f- breads, uh, chemical breads that are not made, uh, the uh, traditional way with sourdough, but are made chemically that might cause bloating through the other, other parts of that process, not just the gluten. And often eating sandwiches that are very uh, bad for you because of other things in it. Generally, it's 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 a sign that you're you have a a poor gut microbiome and you're eating generally poor foods. Uh, I think it's what when you speak to a lot of nutritionists who deal with it with um, people with these problems clinically. Um, so I think people need to reassess uh, this obsession with gluten because the alternatives tend to be less healthy than. Uh, eating gluten itself because you you end, end up with more ultra processed replacements which the food industry loves so again uh, you're falling into the trap of eating paying three times more for your food uh, i'd say go to these people go back look at your whole diet you know, consult a nutritionist properly uh, and try if you are going to go back to bread make sure you know you, you get something that's homemade uh, sourdough, long fermented, and uh, the vast majority of people will not have problems. If you enjoyed that clip, press here for the full episode. I'll see you over there. So it does mean a little bit of education about our bodies and, you know, this new organ that's suddenly come into our lives, which we didn't know 10 years ago really was there, uh, that all of us have.